Hello YouTube and welcome to my hamster binder video. This binder I got from Zazzle.com. Really good place to find binders. It was about 20 bucks. I custom made it. And the hamster I chose is Sylvia and I made her from CartoonizeMyPet.com which is a part of Zazzle. It says hamster binder up here. And the back is a, a paw print. Oh, and this just says hamster binder on it. Okay. My cover page is Holly the hamster, one of my past hamsters. And this is just a brief overview of hamsters. This is how to tame your hamster. Well, one of the ways. There's really no wrong way of tame. Well, scratch that. There could be wrong ways to tame hamsters, but there's many right ways to tame hamsters. There's no one right way. The different species. We got Syrian hamsters, the hairless hamster, which is a form of the serious hamster, Syrian hamster, um, winter white, dwarf Campbell's, dwarf Roborowski, Chinese hamster, and the hybrid hamster. This is how to capture an escaped hamster, very important to put in your binder. And these are all my past hamsters. We've got Scarlet, Chloe, Honey Bear, Cookie, Holly, and Chibiusa. And all of them are Syrians except for Chibiusa, who's a Roborowski. This is a guide in hamster cages that I got from hamstercentral.com. Sorry about that. Couldn't think for a second. Shows all the different cages. You don't want this cage. Unless it's really, really big. Like, really big. Like a rabbit or a guinea pig cage would suit a Syrian hamster. This type of cage is really inappropriate for a Syrian, but if you put enough together, you can probably put a single dwarf in one of these. Tanks, I highly recommend. There's no ventilation problems, as contrary to popular belief. And you can add tubes on top and stuff like that. And then there's bin cages. I got one of those. Really easy to make, really cheap. So if you're strapped for cash and can't afford the other cages, make a bin cage. Just stuff laying around the house, really easy. And this is all about hamster bedding. We have all the different types of bedding, what are safe and unsafe. Sandboxes, very important for hamsters, they like to take sand baths. And back onto bin cages. You can make bin cages with this guide that I found on hamstercentral.com. A lot of this stuff I found on hamstercentral.com, but it's really simple to make, like I said. Now I found this illness guide on Hamsterific, another great website. Lists all the diseases, and then goes into more detail about them. Hamster diabetes. Very important to know. Mostly it's hybrids and Chineses that are diabetic prone, but you never know. So it's always good to get test strips or to test their urine with and to avoid feeding them sugary foods like fruits. It's okay to feed them a mix, just as long as it doesn't have much sugar in it. Don't worry about taking out parts. But pushing this disease in Syrian hamsters, it's for mostly for older Syrians. They start losing their hair are becoming very inactive. Can kind of hard to tell from elderly care, but an elderly hamster, but you'd know. Care for elderly hamsters. Here's my hamster weight chart that I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm not. I'll get to that. Now breeding hamsters. This is something you should do only if you know hamster genetics. In order to know hamster genetics, you need to know basic algebra and trigonometry because you'll need to be doing equations. This just tells you the brief overview of what to expect when your hamster is pregnant, the development of the pups after they're born, and this is how to sex Syrians and any dwarf species in Chinese. And if you're going to breed hamsters, you need to know about hamster cultures. 
We got all sorts of different colors here. Hair links. And ear colors and eye colors. You need to know all of that. And which colors to mix together and which not to. They won't really get mixed babies. They'll get different colored babies. But you need to know not to breed two hamsters with the white belly jean. Otherwise you get an eyeless white. Which is called something else that I can't think of right now. Oh, and this is a Syrian... A Guide to Syrian Hamster Genetics as written by River of Hamstery website. Now, I recommend going there and reading this. It's very detailed, thorough. It tells you all you need to know about breeding Syrian hamsters and their genetics, how to determine what your pups are going to be. Very good site. As you can tell, the lady or guy in charge of this really went into detail about that. Hamster Nutrition. We got the Hamster Master Food List from the U.S. Just tells you all the foods. Excuse me, my back's starting to hurt. All the foods in the U.S. that I could find. I might be missing a one or two. This is the Safe and Unsafe Food List. Then we've got unsafe, risky fruit and vegetables, safe plants, unsafe plants, popular safe treats, unsafe treats, chocolate drops are okay, I guess, and that's it. Thank you, and good night.